Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is November the 18th, 2016. Um, I just want to come on here because the Lord has been showing me a lot. However, what I'm going to do is I've picked out the most important ones that I feel that He has led me to come on and share with you. To stay encouraged. He really wants us to stay encouraged. But He also wants me to point out some of the things um, maybe that some of you have missed. Um, not to put emphasis on them, but to be assured that He watches over us continually and vigilantly. He knows exactly um, what is going on uh, here within the Watchman and Maidservant community. Okay, so um, I'm going to make this quick. Uh, I'm taking care of my grandbaby, and she's asleep right now. So I hope that it doesn't sound like I'm whispering, but I am. Um, one of the um, quotes that he's been giving me to speak, um, I call them quotes because he provides them for me, and he will lead me to speak them. One of the um, quotes that he has downloaded in my spirit heavily, um, I was going to title this video it, but it, it doesn't seem like he wants me to, so I'm just going to voice it. Um, that quote uh, he gave to me about four or five days ago. Again, I've just been too busy to, to come on, but I, I need to come on and do this. The, um, the words that he wanted me to speak so that you know that we're, where we are, are at, excuse me, where we are at in prophecy. He assures me, we are not out of the woods as the wilderness is up ahead. Those were words that he gave to me to speak. Um, he wants me to remind uh, the community that in Matthew uh, chapter 7, verse 15, and I'm going to read that verse. Um, it's basically fitting for what we're experiencing right now. Or what we did, I should say, experience. It was brief, as it should have been. It shouldn't have been at all, but um, it was brief. The Lord intervened uh, divinely. Okay, so Matthew 7.15 reads, We are... Um, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I've got to read that off my screen. Um, I apologize. Let me go to here. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. He wanted me to read that out loud. Um, again, not to shake you, but to strengthen and caution you to seek him directly for discernment. You don't need to, it's not required or expected for us to um, rely on our co-watchmen and uh, co-maid servants. No, quite the opposite. The Lord wants a relationship with you. He wants you to seek him. Okay, we are the middle uh, guys and gals. We're the middle people here. We're the boots on his boots on the ground is how he's always given it to me. We're the boots on the ground uh, for him. But uh, please, again, I'm not speaking these to um, give it any uh, glory in um, the church being shaken um, about a week ago, um, November 11th to be exact. Um, rather to caution you to stay strong, cover yourself in the full armor of salvation. It is most important. As you can tell, the evil and wickedness it has only progressed. Okay, so um, one of the things that he brought to my attention was the fact that on November 11th, um, 2016, just last week, the... Um, Excuse me, let me just look at my notes here. There was a clear and blatant and very bold uh, attempt to cause division and shake the true bride of Christ. The Lord has his hand in everything and he will not allow that. Sort of, he described it to me as a divide and conquer approach was taken. Well, that was on November 11th. On November 13th, which I'm sure those of you who are up to par 
on the news and everything concerning prophecy in the news realized that on um, excuse me on November the 13th New Zealand was also shaken with an earthquake it wasn't shaken spiritually as the church was but it was shaken physically with a seven point earthquake what he pointed out to me very clearly was that happened in the location of Christ Church New Zealand this was two days after the November 11 2016 outburst that was his divine way of telling us indeed indeed that did happen but we are not to be shaken much less divided the true body of Christ is loyal not so much to each other they're loyal to the Lord they know their place they know their purpose it has been spoken through them they are they we we are all vessels we will not be shaken especially by outsiders lastly he wants me to remind you any prophetic word and I stated this the last time because he gave this to me last time as well any prophetic word dream or vision that you hear of that you speak or you receive or that is spoken to you take it directly to the Lord at times the watchmen and maidservants may get something wrong we are human we are not superhuman please any discernment seek the Lord on it seek the Lord and feel comforted that you can ask the Lord is so and so your servant the Lord knows his children the Lord knows exactly who he's called upon and who his true servants are ask for discernment but ask from the Lord lastly one of the things and he's just now pushing me on this we want to stick with prophecy the prophecy states in Revelation clearly it indicates when God's wrath befalls the earth that is the sixth seal that is for when they call peace and safety also he has given that to me in past visions once they call for peace and safety sudden destruction falls upon them like a woman giving birth that will be the mega earthquake please know that that is your cue anybody watching this today know that that mega earthquake you will know it because it'll be nothing that you've ever felt before humble yourselves Anna that is the word that he's given to me several times to humble oneself get on bended knee and make sure the Lord hears you pleading for him on the day of the Lord I love you guys and please stay encouraged please stay encouraged God bless you